Hello coders, I hope you are coding well. In the previous video, we created activity component with the reactive form and controls. And in today's video, we will create a service and then we will write the code to call create activity API. So let's get started. So in our Angular application, first of all, we need to create a service. And to do this, we will right click on our app folder and we will choose new folder and we will name this folder as service and after this let's right click on this service folder and let's open this in integrated terminal and in this terminal we need to give the command to create a new service so we will write ng g for generate s for service and we will name this service as user and as you can see our user service is ready now let's open this service folder and then we will open user.service.ts and in this service, first of all, we need to create a variable to store the URL of our backend application. And to do this, we will create a constant and we will name this as basic URL. And after this, for the value, we will give it as localhost colon 8080 slash. And after this, to make the HTTP API calls, we need to inject HTTP client. So in the constructor of this service, we will write private and we will name this as HTTP. And after this, we will write HTTP client and we will import it from angular slash common slash HTTP. And after this, we need to create a method to call the API and we will name this method as post activity. And in the params of this method, we need to accept the activity data. And we will name this as activity DTO and the type of this will be any. And after this, we need to mention the return type of this method, which should be observable of type any. And in the body of this method, we need to use HTTP client and we need to call the API. And to do this, we will write a return statement. And after this, we will use HTTP. And after this, we will call post method. And in the params of this method, first of all, we need to give the URL and then the body. And to give the URL, we will choose our basic URL constant. And after this, we need to concatenate the endpoint URL. So we will use plus and then we will mention API slash activity. And with this, our URL is completed. Now we need to pass the body. So we will write activity DTO here. And with this, our post activity method is completed. Now let's save this file. And after this, we will open activity.component.ts file. And in the constructor of this component, we need to inject the user service. And to do this, we will write private and we will name this as user service. And after this, we will mention user service and we will import it from service slash user dot service. And after this, we need to create a method to call our post activity API and we will name this method as submit form. And in the body of this method, we will use our user service. And after this, we will call post activity method. And in the params of this method, we need to pass the activity data. And to do this, we will use our activity form and then we will call dot value. And after this, we will subscribe the response and we will name this as test and we will write an arrow function. And after this, to handle the errors, we will write error function as well. And in the case of error, we need to show a message to the user. And to do this, we will use a message service. And for the message, we will give it as error while posting activity. And for the duration of this message, we will give it as 5000 millisecond. And after this, in the case of success, we will again use message service and we will show the message as activity posted successfully. And after this, we need to remove the data from our activity form. And to do this, we will use our activity form and we will call a method reset. And with this, our submit form method is completed. Now let's save this file. And after this, we need to write the code to call this submit form method. And to do this, we will open activity.component.html file. And in this file, we need to use the submit event of this form. So in the form tag, we will use ng submit. And on the submission of our activity form, we will call submit form method. And with this, our HTML code is completed as well. Now let's save this file and let's run our application.
and as you can see our application is up without any errors now let's go to the browser and let's validate the functionality of our post activity api and in the browser we will click on this activity menu and after this on this activity page we need to give the data for our activity and for the calories burned i will give it as 12 and after this for the distance i will give it as 50 km and after this for the steps i will give it as 1000 and after this we need to select the date and we will give it as 26 and after this we will click on this post activity button and as you can see we got the message activity posted successfully and as you can see our activity form got reset and our post activity button got disabled and now let's go to our mysql workbench to verify this entry and in our mysql workbench we will open the tables of fitness tracker db and after this we need to click on this icon to view the data of our activity table and as you can see we have three activities in this table and for the activity with the id 3 we got the calories burned as 12 and for the distance we got 50 and for the steps we got 1000 which we just gave and that's it for today's video in the next video we will call get activities api from our angular application